Good day. Today we are going to focus on the partnership. We are going to do the question drill of March 2022. We'll be doing um, the analysis. So let's cut into it. Snip and cut a salon situated in Newcastle, Kwasun Natal, caters for both men and women. The salon is owned and managed by B. Bugagayo and U. Omoshe. Required. 3.1. Identify the account. I mean, identify the general ledger account that is used to record the following transactions. Write only the name of the account in the space provided in your answer book. The first one. The ledger account that is used to calculate the gross profit. Which ledger account is that? The one that is used to calculate the gross profit. That ledger account it is called the trading account. Because the one that is used to calculate the profit it is called the profit and loss. The owner's equity account can can have either a debit or a credit a credit a credit opening balance. Which one is that? That is the current account because the current account can um, have a debit or the credit account. I mean I mean balance. And then the account in which secondary distribution is calculated. Which one that is that? That is the appropriation account. Appropriation account. Net profit for the year is calculated in this ledger account. So I talked about this one. It's a profit and loss account. Right? Now let's get into this. Open two. Show how the year end adjustment and a closing transfer below will be recorded as per table provided in your under book for the financial year ended 28 February 2022. 3.2.1 Shampoo, conditioner, and either steering items on hand at the end of the financial year amounted to 2000. We are told that these are considered to be consumable stores. So we have the consumable stores on hand. Right? Consumable stores on hand. So the consumable stores on hand is an asset. The consumable stores on hand is an asset. So what you are going to do is you are going to go here and come here. Which account are we supposed to debit? Which account are we supposed to credit? So, um, we are going to credit the consumable, the consumable stores. We are going to credit the consumable stores because we are, we are decreasing them with the, um, the 2000, which is on hand. Remember, when we are doing the income statement, the consumable stores, you subtract them from the giving amount. You subtract the one on hand. For example, let's say, for example, you are giving the stationer on hand or the packing material on hand. You take the one on hand, then you subtract it from the amount that is giving the trade balance. So when you are subtracting, it means that the expense is decreasing. And the expense decreases on the credit side. So that is why we are writing this on a credit side. Then... On the debit side, the asset account is increasing because we have the consumable stores on hand that are left. So how much are they? They are 2,000, the consumable stores on hand. And then 3.2.2, rent expense 3.5 is still owed. So if we are owing the, um, the rent expense, we still need to pay it, right? 
So that is an accrued expense. So the accrued expense, it's a liability account. But remember, the matching concept, it is saying that income is an expenses should be recorded in a year they belong in. Even if the expenses, they have already been paid, but they should be recorded in a year that they belong in. So what you are going to do is, if you can remember, when you are doing the income statement, even if the expense is not yet paid, but we add it to the expense account. So meaning that we increase the expense account. That is why we are going to come here and increase the expense. As we know that the expense increases on the debit side. And then on the credit side, the account there is going to be the accrued expense, which is the liability account. And it increases on the credit side. It's an expense that is not yet paid. So how much is the expense that still needs to be paid? It is 3.5. 3,500. So the 38,500, this is just the amount that was paid for the rent expense. But it's already paid, so we don't need it. <laughs> then 3.2.3. But then if we were doing the income statement, we're going to come and take this 3.5 and go and add it in the, in the rent expense of 38,500. That is why we are saying we're increasing the rent expense with the debit, with the debit, um, uh, with how much? 3.5. 3.2.3. As per their partnership agreement, Bukakayo is to receive a salary of 12,000 per month. But remember, um, we are doing for the year end. We're doing for the year. So we must multiply this by 12. 12,000 multiplied by 12. There is 144,000. So 144,000. So the salary expense is increasing and this increases on the debit side. So with the 144,000 for Bugigayo. And then we debit this, the salary expense account as, as it is increasing. And then we are also going to go and credit credit it where under current account to show that the current account is increasing. Current account of Wu Kekayo, right? Then three point two point four. Almost the increase he gave a contribution from hundred and forty thousand to one ninety thousand on the first of September twenty twenty one. This has been recorded, right? Interest of 8% per annum still need to be brought into account for Omoshe. So let's calculate the interest. Let me draw a timeline. Right? The year starts when? Let's have a look. The year ends on 28 February 2022. So this means that this year starts on 1 March 2021. So they're saying that the um, capital of Moshe was increased, right, on the 1st of September 2021. 2021, right? 1st of September 2021. They're saying it was increased from 140 to 190. This means that at the beginning of the year, it was 140,000. Right? And then from the 1st of September, it was increased to uh, 190,000. Meaning that it was increased by 50,000. So this means that from the 1st of September, it is 190,000. Right? So... The 140,000, right? So now we have to calculate that it stayed for how many months? Or we can just do it this way. I'm just going to say, right? 
It was increased on the 1st of September 2021. It was increased by 50,000. That is why it increased from 140 to um, 190. It's because it was increased by 50,000. 140 plus 50 is 90. So this 140,000, which was here at the beginning of the year, till the end, it means that it stayed for the whole 12 months. So multiply by 8 times 12 over 12. So it's 140,000 multiplied by 8%. That is um, 11,200. And then the 50,000 stayed from September to 28 February. How many months? September, October, November, December, January, February. That is six months. Times eight percent times six over twelve. So that's two thousand. So this means that the interest on capital is eleven thousand two hundred plus two thousand. 11,200 plus 2,000. That is 13,200. Right? Now, the interest account, which is the uh, interest expense, is increasing. I mean, which is the interest on capital. Right? It's increasing. Um, the um, interest expense, since the owner ha has to pay this uh, interest. On capital and then the account is, it is going to be created it is what it is going to be the current account because we transfer the interest on capital to the current account on the credit side so the current account of umotle right so we have recorded and then the next one Homeworthy drawings account with a balance of 160,000 is to be closed off at the end of the financial year. So at the end of the financial year, what the business does, the business um, close off the drawings account. So they transfer it to the current account on the debit side of the current account. Let me, let me do this. This is a drawing account. Right? Let's say for partner A. So the drawing has a debit balance, right? So when we are closing it off, we have to credit it. Then we transfer it to the current account. So when we are transferring it on to the current account, we know that if something is credited, it must also be debited. That is why we, we go and debit it to the current account. The current account is debited. Current account of who? That's almost there. With the um, current account. I mean, with the drawings account. Right? With the drawings account of almost there. And then the last one. After the primary distribution was completed, the remaining loss, the remaining loss to be distributed um, was 45,000. Okay. This is the remaining loss. So we don't have a profit. It's a loss. After the primary distribution was, was completed, the remaining loss to be distributed was 45,000. This is to be shared between Bukega and Umurle in the ratio of 3 to 1. Um, record the second direct distribution to Bukega. So Bukega, his ratio is 3, so it's going to be 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So 45,000 multiplied by 3 plus 4. There is 3,750. Now, these partners right now, they're going to share this loss. 
right? They are going to share this loss. So if it's a loss that they are sharing, it means that the appropriation account, the debit side, right? It means that the debit side of the appropriation account, it was big. So if it was big, it means that the partners are going to share the loss. So if they're going to share the loss, it means that other appropriation account on the credit side are going to, are going to have their profits and loss, and then are going to have the current account of the partners, current accounts, because they are sharing the they are, they are sharing the loss. Then are going to transfer them to the current account on the debit side because we know that if something is credited, it is going to be debited. So this means that this thirty thousand seven fifty, it is going to be debited to the current account of Bulgai. Current account of Bulgaiyo, right? Then three thousand seven hundred and fifty, right? And then the account that is going to be credited, it is the appropriation, since it is, it is credited. So it is the appropriation account. So that is your um, question three. Thank you.